Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to draw a realistic looking cat in acrylic. I found this image in Pixabay and I was just mesmerized by the essence of the image. Now, as always, I took my time to draw the base drawing as perfect as possible. Now, while working in acrylic or any opaque medium, you should keep it in mind that you will lose almost all your details in the drawing while painting the base colors. So some people just prefer to have a very basic drawing. Although I love to add a bit of details in my drawing, it just gives me some extra bit of confidence I think. But you can surely go for a suggestive drawing, there is nothing wrong or right about this. You can already see how I have used the big brush to block in the basic colors to cover the blank paper. Without concerning about the exactness of the color and the forms, it is always a process from the mass. Now once the base color is established, I move to a relatively smaller brush to start mounting the details. And I also start to give some attention to the closest possible colors as I can see in my reference. It is always very important to have a proper understanding of the color while painting realistically. The one thing that I keep in my mind while painting realistically is that I have to attain the color gradually. I have to start from a closer color and then I will try to make the color as precise as possible. For a simpler understanding, I would love to summarize the colors that I have used for this painting in large extents. Burnt sienna, yellow ochre, crimson lake and a lot of white and some ivory black and Prussian blue. Now, it is important to keep it in mind that not only the colors that will lead you to end up with a realistic looking painting. The another thing which is equally important is value. The values give dimension to an object. The values means the darkness or the lightness of an object. And we must have a good understanding of values to paint something realistically. Initially, if you are confused about the values, it is always preferable to keep a black and white printout of your reference in YouTube while painting. Now how does it help? Now it helps because in the black and white it is easy to understand the values in the root level due to the limitations of shades which are grey, black and white. I will keep working in the similar fashion for some time now till then you enjoy the music.
one thing that I have to keep in mind while painting, especially in this case, is to have a very perfect balance between the sharp edges and the blurry edges. Now why it is so important? It is so because the sharpness gives the illusion of something more prominent and the blurry edges complement them to create a feeling of distance and out of focus kind of look. The same here as the face and the eyes of the cat above is in focus and the legs as well while the back of the cat is completely out of focus. Another important trick here is to draw the parts of the cat. For any animal, we cannot actually paint each individual first as it sounds very stupid. Though we need to draw a few with the rigor brush to create the illusion of realness but most of the first are the random brush strokes which we need to consider the first as clumps of the first and not as the individual first. One important thing here is to keep in mind while doing all this is we should not overlook the direction of the movement of force otherwise it will look like artificial layers rather than looking naturalistic. The most important part of this painting for me is the eyes of the cat as it holds the whole painting together. So I prefer to do it at the later stage. Now while painting eyes, a lot of the people will rush through and spoil the milk. But while painting eyes, you need to have a very serious attention to your reference as it contains a lot of colors and contrasting areas with the softer edges. The highlight of the eye is also a very important part and it gives life to the subject. Understanding the source of the light and the impact of the reflection is the key here. Now as you can see, the painting has almost reached to its climax. I need to paint the whiskers very carefully with a pointed rigor brush. Once it is done, a few more details is needed to be added. Also a layer of glazing is required to lighten up the areas which requires a bit of luminance and also to dull down a few areas. So here is the finished piece as you can see. Please let me know what you feel about my painting in the comment section below. Till then, bye bye. See you in my next video. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to support my work, then please do like, comment, and share my works. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, which is very important, so that you get notified as soon as I post a new video.